Hello, I'm Dirk Ducharme, Quality Digest Editor-in-Chief. Last month, Quality Digest CEO Jeff Dewar and I attended ASQ's World Conference on Quality and Improvement in Anaheim, California. We conducted several interviews with their two CEOs and both boards of directors. We think you're going to find these interviews pretty enlightening. We'd like to thank ASQ for making everyone available for our questions, and we hope these interviews will provide insight and support to our readers as they navigate the future, especially as it applies to their own careers. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, we should be ready to roll. Okay. Jim, thanks for joining us uh, for this little interview here. Appreciate you. you taking the time time out of your schedule there. Um, so, to get just to get us kicked off, what is the ASQE? ASQE is a 501c6 trade association, and we're in existence to support organizations. Uh, our constituents are organizational members. And what is it? What is it? Being a trade organization, for those who don't know, what does it actually do? We elevate the field of quality, so we provide data and insights and research, and our goal is, our mission is to support the field of quality, and we use excellence as that reference point today. Okay, but there was already an ASQ, so so why, I mean, the ASQ was not a trade organization then necessarily? No, no. Okay. it was a 501c3, was a, uh, ASQ is a 501c3, which is an educational organization. Uh, okay. And Nonprofit. professional society. Yep. Okay. individual professional society and a 501c6 supports the trade so we're a trade association by requirement we have to publish an annual state of the industry so my vision is that we are the go-to resource in today and in the future for individuals that want to understand or organizations that want to understand where is quality and even bigger where is excellence headed what does it take to be excellent in your journey okay and there was there was a need to kind of split the because ASQ was doing some of those functions, but it was getting a little too confusing, so it was easier just to split them apart. And yeah, and it made okay. sense because we also deliver certifications, and it's an IRS requirement for the certification okay. business to be under the 501c6. So it was a beautiful opportunity for us to take certification and then use our uh, organizational members as our member constituents. Okay. okay. Doesn't necessarily align strategically. You wouldn't think of the certifications aligned with org membership, but it's it, that's a 501c6. Uh, IRS regulation. Okay. And in terms of numbers, uh, how many members are there? So organization-wide, we have 180 org members today. You'll see a lot of new marketing and activity. We t spent the last year and a half developing the model, rolling it out, and this is the year. In fact, we've just started a very intense marketing campaign in March. So or individuals should start, or organizations should start seeing the campaign roll out there primarily based on the insights and excellence and the new org membership model. So our vision is to be growing this. Do you have, uh, so if we're at 180 today, do you have any forecasts? Oh yeah, it's, 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 it takes a while. So we're not looking at any aggressive forecasts, especially in this economy. I mean, our fear is that you know people would use or lose the opportunity to even join at an organizational level because some of the discretionary expenses were being cut Sure. So we are very conservative in our forecast, but as a new organization, and I don't want to overstate things for the board in this uncertain economy, so we're looking at growing, you know, not aggressively, probably 20, 30 new members this year. Okay. And by organization, an organization, does that include its divisions or multiple sites, or is yes. it like the, the name, you know, Coors, it's everything? And right? really, it, it can do all of that. So okay. if Motorola or if Google wants to join, it's going to cover everybody. You could also join as an individual uh, division of, an, of a company. So oh, we right. have segments. Okay. We have segments okay. of the okay. government. Okay. The IRS. Sure, it's not the entire exactly. U.S. federal right. government. Okay. okay. The IRS is one of our organizational members. They're a new org member. So. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so going back to the forecast, could you see, say, in ten years, that if you're at 180 now? you could be maybe approaching 900, 1,000 yeah, members. Yeah, I would love that, yeah. I mean, it's so hard to predict out one year sure. in advance, <laughs> but <laughs> clearly we're here to support the growth and development of our organizational member business. Yeah. And how does ASQE compare to ASQ in terms of budget, staffing, uh, and size? So we are about an $11 million uh, revenue. A good percentage of that is our certification business. Um, very interesting business relationship because I have 22 staff. That's not a lot of people to run a big business like that, but we do use uh, ASQ resources, so we pay shared services. Fair market value for some of the overlapping shared services. 
you know, financial resources, IT, and so that's again part of that interconnection that we have. Very, very dependent on ASQ. Okay, um, and uh, in terms of ASQ's uh, daily involvement with ASQE, I mean, you share staff. It it almost sounds like there's going to be a constant discussion between the two. Oh, I mean, it, yes. we can't it, a day doesn't go other. by exactly without. And we we call it the connected journey. So ASQ and ASQE are connected at the hip. And Jordan and I work together every single day. Our strategies are aligned. We're all in support of the same missions and goals to to work together in terms of developing content and you know elevating this field of quality and helping people on their excellence journey, whether it's an individual or an ex organization. Can I assume that your offices are right next well, to each other? They are. <laughs> okay, all right. And we work through the pandemic in the office virtually every day, kind of in our own bubble. So is it is it oversimplifying to say that this was kind of more of a of a legal requirement ASQ ASQE so that you could do what you want to do and stay yes, within, within the, the law right, yes okay. exactly okay too difficult to do as one as as just the, what yeah. what ASQ was mm -hmm. okay right and it, to me it's even more about giving the opportunity of our organization to focus on those organizations in in that the field of excellence how how does the ASQE let me back up a little bit. Most of our readership and, and our viewers are ASQ members, Correct. right? Probably most of them at this point maybe still haven't heard of ASQE and they're going, who's this ASQE guy, right? How does the ASQE affect the average ASQ member or well, will it affect the ASQE and I want to, there's a couple different aspects of that. The ASQE org membership includes with it individual memberships within ASQ. Okay. So, for example, the, the largest membership package we have gives them 50 individual memberships to ASQ. Oh, okay. So, okay. there's that okay. connection. Okay. You know, it's not that black so, and white. So, that, okay. there's, there's definitely some cost savings in there. Absolutely. As a membership organization, now you don't, all the individual employees don't have to submit an expense report for their ASQ membership. Correct. Or, gotcha. you know, so in, the other side of it is the more strategic side of it, which is delivering the insights on excellence. And that's that benchmarking data that we're talking about, which is an organization, we've developed a tool that allows our org members to take the survey, eight different criteria, where are they on their excellence journey, and then your over year comparisons on how they're doing, identifying gaps, you know, disconnects, you know, where they're, where they're strong, where they're not, looking at how they compare to their industry or in regions of the world or you know it's fascinating to me we we've got executives and we've got quality professionals completing the survey and right. what's the gap there within your own organization yeah t t tell us a little bit more about the insights on on excellent we didn't go into that in, in any depth but just a eh, you know elevator speech on it sure insights on excellence is our it's in support of our mission to deliver this the, the world the state of the industry so Every year, we're going to conduct research on this Insights on Excellence, which is a eight criteria that we've established. They're patterned after Baldridge. Um, a question, a similar question set for everyone, so that we're you know comparing same answers, um, and then we we deliver results to the world. So, we, as an organizational member, the benefit you get is that you can benchmark. Everyone else has access to that report. We're delivering that to anybody that wants it. It's available on our website. Okay. So we established that in 2020, right into the pandemic. We did our first round of research. We have a baseline of data, but in 2021, now we have comparison. And so year over year, we're going to be able to start identifying what's shifting, what's changed because of the pandemic, or what's the next barrier or disruptor that's coming up. Okay. So we will deliver that. That's our commitment. I have to do that as part of as being a 501c6. Okay. Within that, we're starting to develop reports underneath that. So those eight categories that I talked about, which people are being scored on, we're doing, we do a category report. So we can go into each one of those categories and tell the world this is where things are going. We're doing it by industry. We've already published our first automotive report. We're working right now on a manufacturing report based on the number of members that uh, we have and that ASQ has in those fields. And so it, it's just a great opportunity to provide the world insights on what's going on there. In the, so the there, there's, there's a lot of overlap 
I guess functionally, for lack of a better word, uh, between ASQE and ASQ and what they did, what would be some of the new things that people would encounter, uh, goals and initiatives through the ASQE that maybe they didn't see through ASQ? And I would say Insights on Excellence is the key. That was one. Okay. Yes. And that Insights on Excellence, it, we call it the connected journey within ASQ and ASQE because we now have all this great data that we can provide to ASQ and all the technical communities and all the quality professionals that work there and do their you know, work on thought leadership and content and training and education. We now have data that can help them really focus in on what the needs are of the world. Okay. So that is very new for ASQ. Okay. Let's talk about your new accreditation yep. um, through ANSI. Uh, we ran a press release yep. uh, about it recently. Uh, when did this become a goal? How long did it take? And uh, how big a deal is it? Oh, it's a huge deal. We, it's been on the radar for about 10 years. We started looking at it more seriously like three years ago. Um, but one of the requirements was, was we had to be a 501c6 in order to be accredited to the 17024 standard. So when we were and now, what does that standard do? That's accrediting the personal certification process. Okay. So, so this now elevates everyone's ASQ members certifications. We are the only organization that delivers these accredited certification. Okay, so it's a, it, 17024 is, is, a, is an ISO framework yes. uh, to follow if you're going to be a, a personal. An, it's a personal, personal certification. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Okay. And so we have 18 certifications. We put the top five through the process. Okay. But the beautiful part of that is, is that it's all the same process. So basically, we have our top five that have been accredited. But by nature of how we were accredited, everything else falls with that. Okay. So it's a big deal. It's a, it, oh, it's, so it's a cascading. Yeah. Because okay. you know, you're not doing your certification businesses separately. Right. Okay. So that, that is, it's okay. here at this event, the quality professionals are ecstatic about that. Yeah. I, it I it had really the, gives credibility to the, what they do. Yeah, I had the impression at, at the uh, discussion you guys had a couple of days ago that people were thrilled. Yeah, exactly. With this, and it, and it provides a unique uh, offering that only ASQ can offer. Exactly. Well, um, I'm gonna, before we go, I'd like you to, to uh, prognosticate here a little bit. So in, in one sentence, one short sentence, um, where is the quality profession going? What's its future, do you see? Oh, I love that question. With what we're doing today, I believe we are making the quality professional relevant. Okay. They have a voice at the table again. They can come to the table with data and insights and help develop strategies for the organization. It's no longer this world of punitive product defects. It's now about how do we elevate our organization to, on this excellence journey. So I hope that we can give the quality professional data that gets them a seat at the table again. All right. Would you say again? You, 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 that implies that they had a seat at the table before and lost it. Well, and you've talked about it before where <laughs> quality as a job may not exist. It's everyone's job. So that voice got lost. Okay. The, ad, the advocate. Yes, the uh, advocate. For quality. All right. And it's not just product quality or product defects on the shop floor. It's any industry these days. You hear the word excellence, and that's why we use the word excellence, because we want it to be at this new level. Do you see quality actually being sort of replaced with the word excellence somewhere no, in the it's distant future? No, it's an evolution. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Jim Templin, CEO of ASQE, thanks for joining us. Thank Appreciate you, guys. It. Great to right. see you.